peace and love family so karma here is how karma works right uh and and how uh you know like casualties happen you know here's answering the question of you know oh you know people walking to the street and getting you know shot out of nowhere or you know people in a plane crash and how a plane might crash and everybody might die except for a few people or one person might survive or half the people you know what's going on with that really you know why didn't everybody pass away or why didn't nobody you know pass away and everyone survive right what is going on there here's how it works family take this very literally you know this is why twin hearts is so important because it increases your good karma right it generates good karma because you're literally blessing the earth right so here's how karma works right with those instances this is exactly how it is family write it down you know it's a matter of causes and conditions causes and conditions right that's how karma works right as if you know because uh that's why i can explain as a case you know grandmaster chalk hawk suey talked about right there was a matter of these people were crossing this bridge and then you know it was a little tourist you know spot or whatever and tourists were walking across the bridge and then uh when some certain people walked over it it was like uh, one person or a few people walked over it it collapsed and they died you know <clears throat> and they were wondering like why didn't everybody else that you know crossed after it or before i mean crossed before why didn't it fall when they you know why didn't they die you know uh so or like a plane crash and you know here, here's how it works family causes and conditions right the conditions is that the bridge was bad so at some point this is gonna collapse and this could kill someone right so because if you're nowhere near this bridge right it's not gonna happen to you right you're not gonna have that karma right so right here here's what it is right the people that walked across the bridge right the condition was that at some point this is gonna kill somebody right and the cause is the karmic seed right the karmic seed so what that is is if you don't carry the karmic seed of in the past having dished out that energy of having killed someone and being responsible for somebody dying in that same manner if you don't have that karmic seed as a soul and you're not walking around with that karma of hey i killed somebody in this similar fashion in a past life so i gotta watch out because it could be rolling around and i could run into this condition because i carry the cause and when the two meet up that's how you get a tragedy and you know or whatever you that's how you get uh karmic happening right so they carry that karmic seed right so the people that walked across the bridge that cause and that karmic seed fertilize that soil right the the condition is like the soil and the cause is like you know is like the seed so those people with that karmic cause that had the you know the the seed that karmic seed of having some cause somebody to die in a similar fashion of you know dying from a ridge or they just killed somebody in general probably and now it has to come back around and teach you a lesson right they walked across and that seed fertilized that soil so the two conditions met right the cause and the condition boom came together and now when that person walked across the bridge you know the condition is like oh yep this person uh caused somebody to die in a similar fashion so boom they pass away you know and it's deeper than that on cases like that it's you know souls sign up to you know uh leave their body in that fashion to generate you know and to clean up a bunch of negative karma right it's all you know so you can uh heal a bunch of past negative karma right so uh one thing you won't have to worry about is running into those situations right my girlfriend was talking about how uh you know at my job every year i was there they got I, we got a raise you know and then when i left they started cutbacks and they started you know <laughs> taking people's money you know and like hey we don't have enough money you know so it's like yeah it doesn't matter where i was going i could have been at another job they would have got raises and i would have got because my pay has to increase because you know i'm doing stream brzees i'm doing twin arts meditation two things that generate good karma and when you're generating a bunch of good karma it washes away all that negative past karma so you won't have to worry about 
walking across a bridge and it collapsing because you there. And it's like, oh, this dude got this bad karma. Boom, collapse. You know, and then somebody else with the same karma, you know, passed away too, right? But in reality, you know, overall, whole, you know, in retrospect, you signed up to, you know, for these, you know, for that case to happen. You signed up, hey, I'm going to pass away in this way so I can pay back this karma or whatever. But that's how it happens, you know what I mean? And nothing is coincidence, family. So you won't have to worry about that stuff if you do Twin Hearts and you do Shreemur Z. You're generating a bunch of good karma washing away all that negative karma preventing you having to learn the lesson in that way of having to die falling from a bridge or something tragic right you literally could have signed up for those instances and then you discover twin hearts and boom you keep doing it every day and every day and you learn lessons that way and right all that divine spiritual energy pouring down right it flushes out all that negative stuff all that karmic past trash gets flushed away and now you don't have to worry about walking in the middle of the street, getting hit by a bus, getting shot, right? Because you're generating a bunch of good karma. So you don't manifest what you want, you manifest what you are. If daily you're broadcasting positive energy and you're healing the earth, because you're doing twin hearts, you're literally healing the earth every day, what you think gonna happen? You're gonna get healed every day. You ain't gonna have to worry about getting, you know, dying before you're supposed to, you know, in some tragic way. And you're going to live out this incarnation as long as you're supposed to be here, right? Because you can leave this body before you actually supposed to, you know what I mean? Because there's nothing set in stone, right? The future ain't set in stone. So you could also change your reality positively. You could, you know, hop on a parallel timeline to where you wasn't going to discover Twin Arts and do it for real. And now, boom, and you was going to be the one walking across the bridge. And now you done prevented it. You prevent these instances from doing Twin Hearts. That's how serious it is, Right? So, balls in your court, do what you will with this information. I'm just letting you know how it works. You know, this is why, you know, people, oh my God, oh, why is God like that? He's just kids dying. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, everything, you know, what you put out comes back to you. You keep putting out positivity, positivity is going to keep coming back to you. You don't know what you did in past lives. We've lived hundreds and thousands of incarnations. You did a lot of negative stuff. So, if you don't want that coming around, and you having to learn the hard way through hard, you know, injuries and casualties and, you know, like that. Do Twin Hearts. And you'll get blessed every day. Life will be a walking miracle. You know what I mean? You won't run into those instances. Have you ever thought about, has a guru ever get hit by a bus? You know, a great spiritual teacher ever died tragically? You know what I mean? Like, kind of. But no, they don't be getting shot in the street. They don't be, you know. What do you think about that? You know, I've never seen a yogi get shot in a drive-by, right? I'm Hamsa Yogananda, right? He was like, hey, you want to see some real yogis? He was trying to run off to, uh, to, uh, 